How much involvement should your church have in stocks and shares, particularly in companies which are seen by some as controversial? Today, demonstrators gathered at Fawley Oil Refinery and Salisbury Cathedral, objecting to the Church of England's shareholding in the oil company ExxonMobil. But church officials say they want to remain shareholders so they can help push through environmental improvements. The Church of England has an £8 billion investment fund which covers a wide range of companies, including oil firms. It recently gave up £12 million of investment in fuels with the biggest environmental impact. But it still has several hundred million invested in companies like Shell and BP. They won't reveal how much is in ExxonMobil, although they say it's a smaller figure. James Ingham is live at Salisbury Cathedral tonight. And James, why Salisbury Cathedral? Well, Sally, that's because the Bishop of Salisbury, Nicholas Holtam, is the church's leader on environmental issues. And demonstrators wanted to come here to show their strength of feeling, to show how much they disagree with the church investing in the oil and gas sector. Today has been a day of peaceful protest, quiet contemplation and a very long bike ride, which started early this morning in Forley. Morning. Thank you very Morning. much. Thank you. Greeting ExxonMobil staff with a polite hello. This retired vicar is just one member of a protest group that considers this oil giant an unethical corporation. We're making the people here who work here aware of our concern about the environment and what the oil industry is doing. This protest is specifically calling on the Church of England to pull its investments in the company. It owns millions of pounds worth of Exxon shares which upsets many inside and outside the church. I personally have a great need for the church to show moral leadership, moral authority. Uh, if we can't look up to the church, who can we look up to? That's why I think they should be setting an example, divesting. They've divested a certain amount from the worst forms of fossil fuel exploitation, but they must grasp the whole issue and now divest from, from oil, and particularly from Exxon. Nearly 30 years ago, Exxon hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons when its giant tanker, the Exxon Valdez, ran aground in Alaska. It's changed many of its practices since, but should the company be backed by the church, which has its own strict environmental policy? Everything we invest in, we do so in accordance with our ethical framework. We believe that there is a role for us to play working with other funds in the global economy to drive the transition to a low carbon economy. And we've already made a clear commitment where there's companies that aren't responsive, we've been willing to disinvest in the past. We'll do so again if we do not feel that companies are progressing. From Forley, the protesters pedalled to Salisbury to deliver a letter to the Bishop, the Church of England's lead on the environment. He wasn't home, so it was received by an assistant. But the group hope their legwork isn't in vain. For me, it's not all, all about success and all about getting a, a result. It's just that I need to protest about Exxon and I need to protest about my church, the church that I love, having money invested in such a, a dreadful company. Well, ExxonMobil has told us that it is reducing its greenhouse gas emissions in its operations and it, and it is supporting research into alternative forms of energy. It says those calling for divestment simply detract from their ability to look into alternative ways of solving climate change while also providing the world's energy needs. But protesters are adamant that they want the Church of England to sell up, to rid them of shares in a company that they dislike. Sally. James, thanks very much.